Right then, so I mate across there at that garage there. He was interested in electric motors, so I think he wanted to get involved just to see what it was like. This is the Renault motor. That's the actual brushes section, which we really need to get out. And uh, there's the power unit in there. One of the bolts is a bit stuck. Gonna focus. There you go. That bolt's a bit chewed and stuck, so we're gonna have to get that out. That's the three-phase input, obviously. Yeah, it's uh, separated. And there's the actual windings inside. But we need to, uh, yeah, we need to prise it off. And there's still the connectors to the armature, which I forgot about. And that's the hole it came from. We've got the half shaft there, and there's a like a bearing on it there. Mm. The other half shaft, we pulled them out various connectors and stuff which I'll go through when I put it back together because I actually can't remember <laughs> and you have these things in them they're like um, I'm guessing breather tubes just to you know it's got a filter in it of some sort I'm sure yeah so um, the on the top there was the, like a distribution box I don't know what the crack is with distribution box but there you go and then underneath it, about here, is the actual uh, controller for the motor. And then, of course, the motor is at the very bottom. And uh, we've lost some uh, gear. Uh, this the oil for the diff, basically. It's, it's gearbox oil, effectively. <coughs> and that's why we've got this paper. Soaking it up. I'll have a good clean up, I think, before uh, we do any more, because otherwise footprints are going to go everywhere. So I'll have to get a mop and bucket. Managed to get all of the uh, fluid, the um, coolant out, and uh, without much mess. There was a bit there, but we kicked it. Yeah, and uh, you have to pull, well, we pulled both shafts out, basically. We'd have, we could have probably got away with just doing the other side and then pulling it off this one with it in place, but hey ho, you know. And uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, calling it a day because what we need is I need to get a set of torques so we can get them off properly. Yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, with a bit of luck, it should all go back together. <laughs> It'll never work again. Huh. That would be all right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Because I suspect the problem is is that the seal isn't right in the motor so we'll get the uh, what we'll do is we'll get the this off get the armature out and basically just have a good clean around and make sure everything's good also make sure the uh, uh, contact with the brushes give them give the slip rings a bit of a clean and uh, yeah and then I need to um, basically just because the problem is complaining about insulation and it's a known fault with these and um, I'm going to have to review the diagnostics to see anyway but it's uh, it's all here yep. so that's today's job I'll upload these ones